Hello YouTube and Facebook people, welcome back to my videos. Today I have another haul video. This one is from the Goodwill Outlet, aka The Bins. We went to the location in Colorado Springs. It's about 45 minutes away from where I live. Um, I did okay, I got 29 and a half pounds, that equal to 49.86. Uh, my bins charges $1.69 a pound. I believe that's the same for the ones in Denver as well. Um, but yeah, I did get a little bit of footage from inside. It's a little bit shaky and it's mostly just me going through my cart. You do kind of get a glimpse of like a, sh a panoramic shot of inside of it. I'll do my best next time I go to get like a more in-depth view of it. I do have a few videos on my channel inside the bins. I'll go ahead and link those down below. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and first I'll show you the footage and then we'll get into the haul. Voice over Valerie, two thumbs up. Okay, so here we are inside of the bins. This one is located in Colorado Springs. It's off of Academy Boulevard. Um, this is a really, really big building. So over there on the left, that's all home goods, shoes, bags, books. And then this whole right side is dedicated to clothing. Um, today, like that blue box right there on the left side of the screen, that's a wedding dress. There was like three wedding dresses in there. All of them had stains and were not worth picking up, but I just thought that was really weird that there were so many wedding dresses. Um, but yeah, there are rows and rows of clothing and it's all piled really high. Um, so what you typically do, you come in and if you're lucky, you get a cart and then you take that cart and you park it on one of the side walls. Normally it's considered like bad etiquette or it's like an unspoken rule that you don't bring your cart around with you because it's I don't know it's just kind of rude people find it rude I get it it is kind of annoying they're big carts and they get in the way um but yeah so you park your car on the side and I remember back in the day it used to be customary that you would put like a sheet or a blanket over your cart to protect your stuff from getting taken but when the last year or so like people don't do that anymore like people look at you kind of weird if you cover your cart so apparently we're going by the honor system but i've never had anybody take anything out of my cart i've seen youtube videos of people saying that people come and take stuff from their carts but i don't know i've never had that problem but also maybe i never find anything good enough that people want to take um but yeah here i am we've finished thrifting we finished going through the bins and i'm just going through my cart so the rules at this one are a little bit more relaxed than the rules are at like the Denver bins. Um, they, they get mad at you if you walk in front of them rolling out a bin. Like that's the one no-no. But other than that, like they just have you line up. Don't touch the stuff before they tell you to go. And that's it. And then after they say go, you're allowed to start picking. But like if you go to Denver... There's three different ones, and the rules at all three of them are different. Like, there's one where when they're switching out the bins, you have to get completely off the floor, and you stand on the borders of the room, and then they'll bring the bins in, and then you're allowed to walk to where you want to stand to start picking. Um, at another one, they'll just make you move out of the section, and they'll only take, like, two bins instead of replacing all of them. At this location... They switch from side to side. They'll do what they call a rotation, and that's when they take out some bins that have already been out there, and they bring out some new ones for you to go through. Um, and they'll do that on the clothing side, and then about 30 minutes later, maybe not even 30 minutes, it seems like it goes pretty fast, but a little bit later, they'll do it on the other side. So they switch back and forth just to keep it from like getting really hectic in there. Because when you go on the other side, like I said, they have shoes over there. That's the section that people go crazy at. The clothing, it's usually not that bad. And it's only kind of crazy just at the very beginning. Um, I'm not sure how other people's process is. Because sometimes 
they'll like bring out the new clothing bin and people will be there and they'll go through it really really fast but they only stay there for like three minutes and then they're done looking so I don't know I really like that I sell clothing it seems like it's the easier place to be I do sell some shoes as you'll see I picked up a few pair but like I'm not one to go jump in a new rotation especially when it's the shoes those people go crazy for them which I don't blame them obviously you can sell shoes for a greater profit um <laughs> but yeah there's my random facts <laughs> Um, I'm almost done going through my card. I think I'm just putting stuff back in my bag to check out. Um, Chad ended up finding this Ikea bag, which was very nice because I didn't bring any bags with me for some reason. I don't know. I wasn't thinking. Uh, but here we are heading to the checkout. Normally there's a line, but today there wasn't. It was actually not that busy. Um, but you wheel your card over here and they have these really big scales. So those yellow things on the left... Those are the scales that they weigh your clothing. As you can see, the people in front of us, they didn't need the cart. They just put it in those bags. But if you do have the cart, you can just wheel it up on there. And then they have the weight of the cart programmed into their computers. And then they just subtract that from the weight of all the stuff that you're buying. Um, I'm going to zoom in right here in a second on the sign. Or maybe I already did. But there's the prices on the wall. Like I said, it's $1.69 per pound. And there Chad goes, he's wheeling it up there. And then me being easily distracted, I'm looking around and I spot something. And I see this print right here. And when I grabbed it, I could tell it was just really cheap material. And then Chad got distracted. There's an as seen on TV product and it's like fishing lures, but he put it back. And then we go back over here because it's our turn. And I'm gonna hand the camera off to Chad so I can go pay the lady my monies. And this lady was really friendly. It's hit or miss with the employees here. But this one was really friendly and she's very talkative, which normally would make me extremely uncomfortable because I'm so introverted and antisocial. Um, but I'm not saying she's weird, but I am saying I get along really well with weird people and me and her were getting along really well. So I don't know. But she was really friendly. I liked her. Um, and here I am paying with my cord. Oh, and then right here, she's asking Chad, are you going to take the basket? And Chad says, no, thanks. So he takes our stuff out of the basket to carry it. Because if you take your cart outside, you have to leave your driver's license with the cashier. And then you go unload your stuff. And then you have to bring your cart back inside. And then they'll give you your driver's license back. They do this because if not, the homeless people come and steal their carts and they never get them back. So I don't blame them for this process of adding the ID check, but it is kind of annoying. But Chad was <laughs> being extra nice and he's carrying all of the stuff. Um, oh, this big bag that he's carrying on his back. So I'm not sure what he's going to do with that. We put the shoes in it for now, but it's a really heavy duty and like... He could probably fit in that bag if he tried. Um, but yeah, it's like a military grade. Here in Colorado Springs, we have um, the Army and we have the Air Force. So at this bins, you will find a lot of military grade clothing and military like accessories like this bag, shoes, belts, hats. Uh, but yeah, and here we are leaving Springs. I will see you guys in just one second for the haul. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start with shoes and accessories and I am gonna try and go a little bit faster than what my videos have been because I know they're really long and I'm gonna try to make them a little bit shorter so they're more watchable. Okay, so the first thing we found was this pair of Keen water shoes. I really liked the rainbow coloring. This next item was in somebody's throwback pile and it's the brand Coolabura by Uggs. And they're these really cute red suede Ugg booties. Um, perfect for the upcoming season. And this one Chad found. This is really big <laughs> men's Sorrel boot. And it's kind of like their traditional leather top waterproof bottoms. Next, this one is for me. And it is the brand White Mountain Footbeds. I've never heard of this brand, but it is just for me. 
unless I look it up and it's worth money, then maybe it's not for me. Next, this one Chad found and he was really excited that he found it. I was really excited that he found it. Um, it's this fry booty. I'm very surprised that he knew what it was, um, but it's just this maroon colored cowgirl boot and they're both in really good condition. So this next item is one to add to your bolo list if you don't already know it. I didn't know it. I just felt this felt like really nice leather. So I looked it up and the brand is Patricia Nash and it's selling for about $40 on Poshmark just for this little uh, wristlet. So that was a really cool find. Add that to your bolo list. Um, this one you don't need to add to your bolo list. This was just one I picked up for the sake of nostalgia. Um, it's the band AFI and it's just this little tiny canvas purse. But back in the day, like 21, 22 years ago, when I first met Chad, uh, we would drive around in his truck and listen to this band. So I just thought that was really cool. Okay, that's it with shoes and accessories. We are going to move on to clothing. Okay, this first one is a Chad find. It's the brand Prana. And it's this really cute maroon sweatshirt cardigan. So really nice, really good condition. Good find, Chad. He did really good this time. He does really good every time, but he did especially good this time. Um, this brand was new to me. It just felt like really good quality. It is called Nomad, and I'm guessing this is an outdoorsy brand. Um, I, I think it was new with tags. Yeah, it is new with tags, originally $60, but really cute, good condition, thick flannel shirt. This next one is just for me, and it's a Capella shirt with a fish. Next, I thought this one was really cool. It is the brand, what brand are you? Betsy Adam, and it's a size 16W, new with tags. It originally cost $250. Uh, I just thought this is like a really good, like bridesmaids dress, or even if you're going somewhere fancy, or it's shimmery, perfect for New Year's Eve. But I just thought it was really pretty. Next is a pair of Nike Golf men's golfing pants <laughs> really really good condition this next one is by the brand speedo and it's just a basic swimsuit um it does have like some ruching down the front so i thought that would do well next is just a pair of old navy shorts for myself <laughs> okay here's the uh, nonsense item that i got i only paid 69 cents i picked this up for my sister's kids and it's a super wobble bubble ball, the strongest wobble ball ever made. Brand new, so <laughs> that's for my sister. Okay, this next one is another brand to add to your bolo list. Um, I can't pronounce it, so if you're just listening to this video, you might wanna come look at the screen so you can see it. I'll leave it there for an extra second so you can see. But Chad picked this one up and he said it just felt like really nice quality. So I looked it up and this brand for pants, they're selling around $50. So add that to your bolo list. Next is another new with tags pieces. This is by the brand CDC Karen Desiree Company. Originally this was $94. Uh, there's the inside tag. Um, yeah, it's just this really cute, the top is velvet short sleeve and then the bottom is like a chiffon material and it's pants really like loose wavy pants that are lined so that's cool <laughs> and then it comes with a um, tie waist and on the new with tag part it even shows you how to tie the waist so that's really cute next is the brand cabby um, i don't always pick this brand up but I did think this one was particularly cute and it was really lightweight. Next is the brand North Face. And this one is just a really lightweight like rain jacket. Um, it looks pretty rough right now, but I did grab another piece of clothing from the bins and kind of use it to wipe it to make sure it wasn't stained. And it's just dirt. So this one will be much better when I run it through the wash machine. Next is the brand Zara, but this is a tag that I haven't seen before. It says Authentic Denim by TRF. So there's the tag. And this is a really cute mini dress that is a button up denim dress with spaghetti straps. So I will have to investigate that label and see if it's worth anymore. But either way, I thought it was cute. 
Next is the brand Song or S-O-N-G. Um, and these are just a pair of jeans for myself. Next is the brand Columbia. These are the PFG line, the professional fishing gear. And these are a pair of convertible hiking pants or fishing pants. But I don't pick up all Columbia, but the convertible pants are one that I do pick up. Next is another new with pegs item. This one is by the brand Express and it was originally $40 and it's just this spaghetti strap like bodysuit. So I bought that one to list on Poshmark. These ones are by the brand J. Jill Love Linen. They're a size large. They were originally $89, um, but there's the label. And I can only assume that these are made of linen <laughs> since they are the Love Linen line. Yes, 100% linen. And they are these really cool, I feel like these are very trendy right now. So linen is always trendy, but these are a wide leg high rise pants. And the last thing that I found is probably like one of the smallest items that I did find, but I think it's the coolest item. And it's just this pair of men's vintage JCPenney swim shorts. Um, just very cool looking. I feel like out of everything, out of all the clothing, that these vintage shorts are probably gonna do the best. I don't know, I'll keep you guys updated. So that was everything that I picked up at the Goodwill outlet. I will have editing Valerie put in the average cost of goods per item. Um, but yeah, that was everything for this haul. Thank you guys for watching and then we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.